blood pH levels, causes and symptoms. The pH stands for potential of hydrogen of blood refers to how acidic it is. Changes to blood pH can signal underlying medical issues. The pH scale otherwise known as the acid base scale runs from 0 to 14. It measures how acidic a solution of a substance in water is. For example, pure water has a pH of 7. Solutions with a low pH have a high concentration of hydrogen ions and are acidic. Solutions with a high pH have a lower concentration of hydrogen ions and are alkaline or basic. The pH scale is a compact scale and small changes in pH represent big leaps in acidity. This video will look at what the normal pH level of blood is and what can cause the pH level to move outside of this range. It will also examine what can happen to the body if blood pH levels go above or below the normal range. Normal blood pH levels The pH of blood in the arteries should be between 7.35 to 7.45 for the body's metabolic processes and other systems to work well. These processes produce acids. So the body has a complex system of feedback and, regulate and regulation to maintain healthy pH levels. Much of the acid made in the body is carbonic acid. This forms when carbon dioxide combines with water. Carbon dioxide occurs within the tissues of the body due to the process of respiration. The lungs and the kidneys are the two main organs that regulate the pH of the blood, often at the same time. There are also chemical buffering mechanisms throughout the body's cells. The lungs can help regulate blood pH rapidly through the process of exhaling carbon dioxide, sometimes producing changes within seconds. For example, when someone exercises, they produce more carbon dioxide so they breathe faster to prevent the blood from becoming too acidic. The kidneys regulate the pH of the blood by excreting acids in urine. They also produce and regulate bicarbonate, which increases blood pH. These changes take longer than those that occurs due to breathing, potentially taking hours or days. Changes in pH blood level Certain situations and medical conditions can mean that the body is unable to keep blood pH within the healthy range. The pH of the blood can change in both directions. Acidosis occurs when the blood is too acidic with a pH below 7.35. Alkalosis occurs when the blood is not acidic enough with a pH above 7.45. There are four main ways in which blood pH can change. Metabolic acidosis. This occurs due to reduced bicarbonate or increased acid levels. Respiratory acidosis. This occurs when the body removes less carbon dioxide than usual. Metabolic alkalosis. This occurs due to increased bicarbonate or reduced acid levels. Respi respiratory alkalosis. This occurs when the body removes more carbon dioxide than usual. To restore blood pH levels to a healthy range, it is important to identify and treat the underlying issue that has caused the change. Causes of blood pH changes. changes. Metabolic changes in blood pH can occur as a result of kidney conditions or problems. 
respiratory changes relate to how the lungs are working. When a change happens in one direction, there are mechanisms to move the acid base balance the other way. For example, if a person has respiratory acidosis, there should be a metabolic response from the kidneys to reset the balance. If the body does not does not reset the pH balance, it can lead to more severe illness. For example, this can happen if the if the level of acidosis is too serious or if the person's kidneys are not working well. Depending on the cause, changes in blood pH can be either long lasting or brief. The sections will look at the specific causes of each type of change to blood pH. Metabolic acidosis. Metabolic acidosis can occur due to kidney damage that leads to urea and other waste products building up in the blood. Strenuous exercise which produces lactic acid. Consuming certain substances such as aspirin, methanol or peraldehyde. Losing bicarbonate from the body such as during chronic diarrhea infection and excess of acids called ketones in the blood. Ketoacidosis typically occurs in people with diabetes or due to alcohol misuse. Respiratory acidosis. Respiratory acidosis occurs due to conditions that make breathing difficult. This include Lung, inf lung conditions such as pneumonia or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, congestive heart failure, severe obesity, myasthenia gravis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, brain injury. Using drugs such as opiates can also lead to respiratory acidosis. Metabolic alkalosis some causes of metabolic alkalosis include excess consumption of bicarbonate, antacids or citrate. Cushing's disease wherein there is too much of the hormone cortisol in the blood, prolonged vomiting or serious dehydration, an excess of fluid in the body, taking too many luxatives some diuretics which are medications that help the body get rid of excess water or salt. Respiratory alkalosis Respiratory alkalosis often occurs due to situations or conditions that make people breathe quicker or deeper than usual. This include shock, fear or panic, high temperature, serious infection, some lung conditions such as pneumonia, pulmonary embolism, liver failure, aspirin overdose as the body overcompensates for the high acid levels this causes. Symptoms of blood pH changes. If a person's blood pH moves outside of the healthy range, they can begin to experience certain symptoms. The symptoms they experience will depend on whether their blood has become more acidic or is no longer acidic enough. Some symptoms of acidosis include headache, confusion, tiredness, lethargy and sleepiness, coughing and shortness of breath, an uneven or increased heart rate, stomach upset or feeling sick, muscle seizures or weakness, unconsciousness and coma. Symptoms of alkalosis include confusion and lightheadedness, shaky hands, numbness or tingling in the feet, hands or face, muscle twitches or spasms, vomiting or nausea, coma. Blood pH test there are two main types of tests that doctors can use to find out the pH of someone's blood. 
arterial blood gas testing and electrolyte testing knowing the pH of a person's blood can help a doctor find out if that person has an acid base disorder doctors can also use this test to monitor blood pH levels establish and treat any underlying causes and help care for people who are critically ill arterial blood gas test test often take place in a hospital they measure the acidity oxygen and carbon dioxide levels of the blood a doctor will remove a small amount of blood often from the wrist they will then send this sample to a laboratory for analysis electrolyte test may be a part of routine care or a doctor may perform them when a person becomes seriously ill the test measures the levels of salts and minerals such as bicarbonate that are present in the blood the doctor will usually need to take blood from a vein in the arm the results of this tests can help a doctor determine what is causing certain symptoms and whether or not the body's regulatory systems are working properly